Hi everyone. Let's get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, I really, I see you guys commenting. I really appreciate your comments. Cause like I said, I'm trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm. So even just leaving a heart comment, if you even just leave like three or four heart comments below, or even just one, like it really does help me because then YouTube promotes my videos. So I appreciate that. Cold guarded, distrusting reconciliation. As always, if you want a private reading too, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awl.com. Pause, reflection, rest, truth, clarity. Anger, miscommunication, pride and stubbornness. Hmm. I know it's probably a strange message, but I'm honestly getting that. So I had to pause it because I'm like, wait, this is really weird. Because it's like you have new love coming in, but you're like sad about it. Um, but I guess I think it does make sense, actually, because I feel like... I feel like with this this ex that you love, it's like almost like like you feel guarded, like you feel like you can't trust them. You know what I mean? Like you might feel like they just kind of like they just kind of broke you in a way. It's like you just you just feel like you might have a hard time just really, you know, trusting them. It's like you just feel like cold. You might feel numb. Um It's like, I think for a long time you were just adamant that for you it was like this person or it was nobody. Like, you're like, I, I either want this person back or I don't want to be with anybody. You're like, this is my person. This is the love of my life. This is my best friend. Like, you just wanted that reconciliation. You know, but I think that you've almost gotten to this point where it's like now you're kind of, you're you're just trusting. You're, you might still love this person, but you're also really turned off by their energy like your like the how do I explain it? You feel like they've just lost your trust, or at least lost the majority of your trust. Like you feel like it's like if they do anything else, it's gonna be hard for you to even look at them the same way anymore. It might already be to that point. Like if they ignore you or they go do their own thing, or if they come back around and do the same things as before, it, it's almost like your perspective is starting to change on this because this person hesitated for way too long. Like they had mixed feelings. They were hot and cold. They just hesitated. Um, it's almost like the straw that broke the camel's back. Like you kept trying to see this person as like, like you kept trying to have faith in them, even though they weren't giving you any reason to have faith in them. You know what I mean? Like you kept trying to be patient and understanding and gentle with them. And they either just took that for granted. Um, they took advantage of it. They just assumed that you would always be there. Um, I feel like in the past you were just very loyal to this person. Like you were really like in that mentality of like, it's them or it's nobody. Like this is my best friend. This is my person. I just want to work through this with this person. Um, but I think you've gotten to that. I mean, you might still want to work through this with this person deep down, even if you don't trust them very much anymore or at all anymore. Like you might still love them and still want to work through things with them. But you're also really turned off by the hesit hesitancy, the mixed feelings. It's almost like your perspective is starting to change on this person and part of you is fighting that. It's like you felt like that was like your best friend, your family, the love of your life. And it's like you don't want that perspective to change because it's like you feel like that's my person. Like that's the person I want to be with. That's the person I want a long-term connection with. So some part of you is like fighting that perspective shift where you're like, I think all the things that they've done have just built up more and more and they haven't really done anything to fix those issues. You know what I mean? Like they still haven't taken accountability. They haven't, um, you know, like they've still just been hot and cold. Like they still, I, I like I said, I think you're, there's just like this perspective shift here is what I'm feeling where it's, it's like, it, it's, it's, you know, it's almost like you've lost trust in them and, and this time around you're just kind of letting yourself lose trust in them. Whereas before, if they let you down, if they hurt you, if you lost trust, 
you would try to be patient, understanding, you would try to still trust them, you would try to still believe in them. And, and now it's it's almost like, it, it's like you're having a hard time fighting this perspective shift, especially since they've given you nothing to work with. They haven't given you reason to believe in them. They haven't given you reason to trust them. Um, and, you know, pain builds up so much over the years that at, at some point or months, years, however long it's been, that at, at some point it's like, you know, even if you feel numb, you get to that point where it's, it's like your, your mind cannot handle any more of the same thing over and over again, the same patterns. But anyway... I feel like I feel like your spirit guides are like bringing in somebody new because this person hesitated for too long. This this person's spirit guides are kind of getting impatient with them. But it's almost like you're kind of sad about it. Like you're still mourning this connection here. Cuz you might meet somebody new unexpectedly and I think it's because it's like cuz you've been wanting this. You've been wanting you don't want this half-assed relationship. I mean, you don't want someone who half-asses it. You don't want somebody who has mixed feelings about you. You know, you want somebody who knows that they love you, somebody who knows that you're their person, you know, um, like it doesn't, like you're to that point where you're like, you know what, it doesn't matter if this person is my person, if I'm not also their person, like it doesn't matter if I see them as the love of my life, if they don't also see me the same way, you know what I mean? Like you're, you're kind of shifting your mentality a little bit on that, um, and it's like you were loyal, you know what I mean? Like you you really, I think you just wanted them or you wanted nobody. And I think you're recognizing that they they might have wanted other people the whole time. You know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, it's like new love is coming in. And I feel like almost like somebody's like kind of sad about it here. But it's like you've been wanting this, this adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Like you kind of see, I'm, I'm like drawn to like see how they're like, like she's being like cute with him. You know what I mean? Like they're both very like looking in each other's eyes there's the physical affection. It's like, that's all you wanted from this other person that they weren't giving you. It's just, you know, like physical affection, like traveling together, going places together, um, having them like having their eyes light up when they look at you, like, you know, just feeling loved and, and feeling special and, and feeling wanted, you know, feeling appreciated. Just the thing that, you know, the basic things that everybody wants in that relationship in, in any, any relationship, I mean, is just, you know, feeling loved, feeling appreciated, you know, having them make time for you, make effort for you, take you places, go places with you, um, pay attention to you, like, you know, just, just feeling loved and wanted, just what everybody else wants. But, but yeah, it's, it's like, I think you've been manifesting that in a way. I feel like you've been, you've just been really wanting that. You've been putting that energy out there, but it's almost like they're hesitate. They've hesitated for too long. And I think, for those um, that are still choosing, you know, to hesitate or still choosing their fear, the divine is going to bring you somebody new unexpectedly. And I think you're going to honestly have a lot of fears about it because you're like, I don't, you know, after that one, that one, that last one destroyed me. I don't know if I even have anything left to give. I don't know if I can even love somebody again. Like, I don't know if I want to love somebody again. Like, there's like this sadness and this anxiety that comes with meeting meeting this new person. We have pause, reflection, rest. So yeah, you're probably going to go inward and try to figure out what you want to do. Do you want to keep, you know, dealing with this person who hesitates about you, has mixed feelings about you, or do you want to go for this new love, or do you just want to be single for a while? We have truth and clarity, anger, miscommunication, pride. Tell me more about ma anger and miscommunication. Yeah, manger. Tell me more about tell me more about anger and miscommunication and pride and stubbornness. This person, oh my God, this person's ridiculous. This person from the past is, they don't want to be codependent. Maybe they, maybe they, uh, it's almost like they feel like emotions are like a weakness. You know what I mean? Like they, they're afraid of losing themselves to a connection. They're afraid of losing themselves in you. They're afraid that like, they're afraid that like, you know, that romance, that closeness, like seeing each other on a regular basis, they're afraid that, you know, you would have this power over them and they would be submissive and weak willed. And I think it's from, you know, toxic like relationships in their past. I don't think this person from the past like realizes that it's, it's not always like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's like that if you're dealing with somebody who's abusive and toxic yeah they'll they'll take your emotions for granted or or 
they'll you know do you know you'll be weak willed with them but but that's not the case with with this connection if they had if they had just reciprocated if they had just been around been emotionally available it it would have been a positive thing it wouldn't you know like i said they got in their head and they were afraid that you would just like i said that they would lose themselves to you It's like they just wanted power and control and they don't even, you know, they're they're starting to realize that there wasn't, they were the one playing that game. They were the one viewing relationships in such a negative light, seeing it as some kind of game that they have to win, you know, who has the power, who has the control when you were never even playing that game with them in, in, to begin with. You, you had genuine intentions to just love them and be with them. Pause, reflection, rest. There might have been miscommunication too. Um, with this person from the past that caused this pride and stubbornness. It's like two people that want to talk but aren't talking. But tell me more about this situation with this new person coming in and how that's going to go. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like when this new person comes in, like I said, you're still going to be really damaged and hurt from the person from the past. And part of you, even though you might not trust the, the past person very much anymore, you, um, like they might have done a lot to break your trust and, and hurt you over time. Um, and just, you know, take you for granted and be hot and cold. Like we're getting the mixed feelings card. Like they didn't know if they wanted you. They were in and out. They were just all over the place. They just really took you for granted and they're going to regret that honestly because I feel like when this new love comes in it's like you're going to be stagnant at first because like I said there's like this pain where you're like oh do I really want new love like I really because it's almost like this person from the past felt like home to you you felt like that's like my home like that's my person and now it's almost like you just feel like sad and lost like you feel like you don't like you don't trust the the one person in the world that you really trusted, you don't trust them anymore. Or the one person you felt at home with, the one person you deeply connected with, now you feel like you just can't, like, like you can't trust anybody, like you can't deeply connect with anybody almost. Um, but yeah, when this new person comes in, it's like, they're going to be offering you all the things that the, the past person wasn't willing to because you've been putting all that energy in of like, I want you know, just like just dreaming about it and like wanting them to just wanting their eyes to light up when they see you, wanting them to take you places, wanting them to make time and effort for you, wanting them to pay attention to you and just just what everyone, what every person wants in a relationship. And so I think all of that might be if this person um, is is still choosing to be fearful and, and have mixed feelings and they don't know what they want then the the divine is basically bringing you somebody new. But like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like there, there's still going to be that stagnant energy where you're like, I'm not sure about this new person. But I think you're going to start taking it slow with the new person because, you know, as much as you love the old person, you might love them with all your heart and soul, but you also, you know, you probably miss things that the old person wasn't giving you. Like you probably miss having somebody to travel with. You probably miss romance. You probably, there might've been like a lack of physical affection. You probably miss affection. You miss romance. You miss feeling special you miss being told you're attractive and beautiful you miss you miss all that energy that you weren't getting from the past person that they weren't willing to give you um so I think that you know part of you even though you're you're guarded and you're distrusting and you're uncertain I think part of you is going to take it slow with this new person and get to know them um I feel like I feel like the past person is going to come through and apologize they're going to have deep regret you know, because they they didn't think that that would happen. <laughs> Overthinking, overanalyzing, self sabotage, divine. Yeah, they thought they could. They thought that they they could just sabotage this, and you would just deal with it. They thought they could keep keep sabotaging this, keep staying isolated, and that you would just keep dealing with it. Divine intervention, synchronicity, and then at some point, their spirit guides are like, "No, you want to stay in that energy. You can, but we're bringing this person somebody new. If that's if that's where you want to stay." You, you know, you're not going to be alone either way. You have either the past person or the new person. And it's up to, you know, it depends on what this old person does, um, whether you give this another chance or not. But if they're choosing not to do anything, then 
I almost feel like their spirit guides are kind of observing them right now too. They're kind of telling this old person like, hey, this is your last chance. Like your person's going to meet somebody new quicker than you think if you don't want to step up. Like they're like, I think the divine... I'm actually going to do another reading on this because this goes with something that I was channeling earlier where I feel like you have a spirit guide that's kind of pissed that you went through this. Um, I'm going to do a separate reading on that because I know YouTube is kind of pushing short form content right now. But um, but yeah, it's almost like their spirit guides are communicating with them and they're like, you want to stay in that energy, you can, but you're staying in it. You're, you're going to be in that energy alone. You're not going to, you know, she she's... She's moving forward. You can catch up or you can watch her be with somebody else. Or may, it could be a man too. You know, take it as it resonates. There's no specific gender here. Isolation, loneliness, emptiness. Past life connection, soulmate. Interesting. Yeah, you might have almost felt like, it's almost like when you were vulnerable, it's like you were just taken for, you know, deception, manipulated. It's like you feel like when you were vulnerable. This is actually tying into multiple readings that I was going to do because this also goes hand in hand with another past life reading that I was going to do. So I won't get too deep into this. I'll post that reading soon. Um, love offer, commitment, betrayal, jealousy, conflict, happiness, warmth, light new perspective yeah it's almost like this person's perspective is going to shift because they're going to be shocked if, if you if you end up like dating somebody else they didn't expect that they expected you to just wait forever and like I said it's going to be hard for you like when this new person comes in I don't think it's going to be easy I think you're going to be like like I still just you know I don't trust the past person but I really love the past person I still just want them to step up and like man up and work through things with me and take accountability. But, you know, if they were, like I said, if they refuse to do that, then your spirit guides are bringing in somebody new. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Yeah, because they're going to get jealous and they're going to realize that you were their happiness, their warmth, their light. They're not going to have mixed feelings anymore. They're going to have a new perspective. Yeah, there's a deep psychic connection here too. But again, it's kind of... It kind of depends on when they do this. Because if they do this soon, I think they might still have a chance with you. But the trust is already so broken that I feel like if they wait too long, you might just, you know... Eventually, you will fall in love with the new person is what I'm saying. You will probably be resistant for it. You, you might even be resistant for like a couple months. You might even push this person away. But I feel like the new person is going to come through so strong. And they're going to be giving you that energy that this other person wasn't willing to give you. That I think at some point you will... You might not love them as much as you love this past person, but I think that you'll still just be happy to finally, like, have someone to go travel with, have someone that's, like, giving you that, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're going to be turned on by this person being in this, this energy and pursuing you. Why the toxicity card? I feel like they're going to be nostalgic for you and they're going to... Um... I got clubs and parties and social life. Loyalty, stability, vows... There could be something that happens at like a club or a party, like you might meet somebody there. Hmm. It's interesting. Why the why the toxicity card though? Beauty, mystery, enchantment, choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Hmm. 
I had a hard time putting my finger on this. I almost feel like they see you, some of them see you as like a talk, like toxic. If you're like going out and you're like, you know, going to clubs or you're being social, it's almost like they, almost like they project what was done onto them in the past onto you. Almost like they're like, like how dare she or how dare they when it, it's like you were, you were loyal the whole time in the past. You're loyal to this person. And I feel like this, it's like you have the right to be like, you know, like beautiful, mysterious, enchanting. It, it's almost like this person wanted to just, like this past person didn't want to commit to you, but they didn't want anybody else to have you either. And so I think when you go out, if you're social, if you're going out, if you're going to clubs or just, you know, even, even not even clubs, but just, you know, doing whatever, I feel like this person gets jealous, this past person. But it's almost like the cards are showing me that they have no like... I don't want to say they don't have no business being jealous, but it, it's it's almost like they just made assumptions that were false. Like, you were probably just going out with, like, your friends and having fun. Like, you were still loyal. Like, they kind of misunderstood that energy. But it's it's also, like, you're, you're not being, like, I think you were loyal to them in the past, but I think you're to that point where you're like, I'm not going to be loyal to this person if they're not loyal to me. If, if you feel them having third parties, you're going to go out and you're going to, you're going to be like, okay, I should entertain third party too, third parties too. You know, you want to go out and play the field. Okay. I'll do the same. I'll, I'll see if somebody else can offer me all the things that you're not offering me. You know what I mean? Like they, they can't not match your loyalty and expect you to stay loyal to them. If they want loyalty from you again, they're going to have to also be loyal to you. But they're seeing you almost in like a new light or as before when they saw you go out, they would get jealous. But now they see you as like beautiful, mysterious, enchanting, like, like they, I think their perspective is shifting on that. And they're realizing like how hypocritical it was for them to expect loyalty. Even, and you were loyal. That's, that's, just, that's the crazy thing. Even when they were not being loyal, you still were committed to this. Like I said, you really felt like it was them or nobody for you. Um, but they are wanting to take some kind of risk here and, and come forward with this passion and this romance. Publicity, shyness, fear of rejection, mental instability. There might be th certain things that you posted on social media that like confused them or made them think that they were going to get rejected. But again, that's their own, that's their own insecurities that they need to work through. They can't just blame that on you. You know what I mean? Like this is somebody that's like, like we got the miscommunication card where it's like these two people were being prideful and stubborn, but it's like, you didn't really do anything to hurt this person. You didn't, they might have felt rejected by you at some point, but it's like you never actually rejected them. They just, it was their own insecurities getting in their head is kind of what I'm feeling. So um, anyway, I want to make this short just because like I said, YouTube is pushing short form content. But would you guys like to see a video on the new person? Can you just comment below and just, you know, just, just tell me if you want me to make a, a video on the new person that's coming through and I'll do that. Um, and like I said, if you guys want a private reading, just email me, dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Thank you for watching.